Good morning students, welcome to the statistics class once again. And uh, in the previous class, I had explained to you about interpolation and extrapolation, the theory. I had explained to you about the assumptions. I had explained to you about the methods. What are the methods that are available for us in estimating the value of the dependent variable is what we have number one, uh, binomial expansion method. And number two, Newton's advancing difference method. I had explained to you regarding even binomial expansion. I have told you about the conditions applied for binomial expansion. The conditions are that the values of the independent variable must be in arithmetic progression. And the values of x which is to be interpolated, right, uh, should be the value of y which is to be interpolated, should be in the values, should be in the given range or should be of the values between x0 and x1 or one of the values of x it must be okay it's it is said so now i told also that usually we'll be getting about the uh, the expansions like uh, we may uh, use y minus 1 raised to 3 or y minus 1 raised to 4 or y minus 1 raised to 5 how to use and why we have to use that depending upon the known values of the variable known values of y known values of uh, dependent variable based on the known number of known values we use this expansion depending upon the number of known values of uh, uh, y that is uh, the dependent variable the expansion is used okay so i have one problem here to solve it on the board students just uh, understand this problem follow this okay sorry what is it just see the question A goes like this from the following data estimate the production for the year 2001 and 2005 by binomial expansion method they said from the following data estimate the production for the year 2001 and 2005 by binomial expansion method the data is given to us here students you can see here 1995 97 99 2000 2003 2005 very clearly we can see that it follows arithmetic progression the independent variable follows arithmetic progression a common difference of two is seen here okay and also when we check here there are no sudden jumps of values of y where the assumptions are good perfect so we can adopt interpolation extrapolation and we can adopt also binomial expansion method so what will i do i'll start with writing or denoting this to be as y naught this to be as y1 and this is one as y2 and y3 and y4 and y5 now there are two missing values y3 is missing and y4 is missing y3 is missing y3 belongs to 2001 that is i can say this to be as x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so value of y3 which belongs to x3 value of y5 belongs to 2005 so now there are how many known values we have number one two three and four there are four known values of y students there are four known values of y so when we have four known values of y so we have to take what expansion students y minus one raised to four expansion so i'll write starting saying that since four values of of y are known four values of y are known so we use y minus 1 raised to 4 expansion and y minus 1 raised to 4 expansion is what students okay we need to buy hard this it starts with saying that y4 minus 4 okay minus 4 y3 correct plus 6 y2 is it right the next minus 4 y1 right the next plus y0 is equal to 0 is that right is equal to 0 this is the expansion that we have it y4 minus 4 y3 plus 6 y2 minus 4 y1 plus y0 is equal to 0 okay so now let's see what is that we may we, we may get it we may get what is y4 y4 is 130 students y4 is 130 minus 4 what is y3 y3 we don't know we keep y3 as it is y3 is that clear 
Right. Plus 6 into y2. What is 6y2? y2 is 70. 70. Minus 4 into y1. What is y1? It is 40. Okay. Plus y0. What is y0? It is 20. Is equal to 0. Is that clear? Substitution is it clear? What is it? 130 minus 4y3 plus 6 into 70 minus 4 into 40 plus 20 is equal to 0. So it, it will be like 130 minus 4y3 as it is, I'll keep it, plus 420, 6 into 4, 70 is 420, minus 4 into 40 is 160 plus 20 is equal to 0. Okay? So when we do all these uh, substitutions, students, so it will be like this, students, minus 4y3, I'll keep it aside. Okay? 420 plus 130 would be 550. Okay? 550. Is that right? Clear? Right. 550. 420 plus 130 is 550 minus 160. 550 minus 160. 550 minus 160. Okay, is that right? 390, right? Plus 20, plus 20 is 410. Is that clear? So this would be, how much students? It is plus 410 is equal to 0. In other words, minus 4y3 is equal to minus 410. Minus minus gets cancelled. In other words, y3 is equal to 410 divided by 4. So y3 is equal to, we can say it to be as 102.5. This is the value for it, students. Is that clear? y3 is equal to 102.5. So we got this value. This is 102.5. Now, so once we have to do this, uh, another, no, one more, we have one more missing value. What is that one more missing value? It is all about y5. So what we need to do is, what we need to do, the same expansion here, students, whatever we have it here, the same expansion, what we need to do is, we need to just increase the suffix. Sorry, increase uh, uh, the, what is that we can say it as, yes, suffix or values. These are what the values which are, Right, written as y4 instead of y4, just increase it by 1. Here increase by 1, here increase by 1, here increase by 1, here increase by 1. But the uh, binomial coefficients and the signs remains the same. Only the suffixes has to be increased by 1, students. Like how it would be. So it would be, I'll write it here, y5. Okay, y4 will become y5 minus 4 as it is y3 will become y4 okay plus 6 as it is y2 will become y3 minus 4 y1 will become y2 okay then the last one would be y0 will become y1 is equal to 0 students okay so y5 minus 4 y4 y5 minus 4 y4 plus 6 y3 you understand Right? Plus minus 4y1, uh, 4y2 plus y0 is equal to 0. This would be what the next missing value formula. Okay? So I will write it here if you want. I will just uh, write this whole thing here and we'll solve for it. We'll change all this. We'll change. The, see, everything remains the same, students. Only thing what I will be doing is y5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Substitute. What is y5? y5 we don't have. y5 we can keep it as it is. Minus 4y4 is how much? It's 130. Okay. Minus 6y3. Just now we calculated. It is 102.5. Minus 4y2. 4y2 is 70 students. And plus y1 is how much? 40 is equal to 0. Okay. So when we simplify this students. If you simplify Right, you will be getting the missing value, and the missing value happens to be somewhere around 145. This y5 is equal to 145. Okay.
so try to do this calculation students try to do this calculation okay and complete the calculation and uh, show me the result the result must be 145 so how to write the formula the formula is only just increase the suffix of y minus 1 raised to 4 expansion that you increase it as I have showed it to you and substitute the values of all those y's uh, the values of uh, the independent the dependent variable then easily you will be getting on simplification you'll be getting this okay right thank you very much follow this uh, follow this practice it such type of a problems we can do another two or three in the next class okay thank you